Hello, hello, hello. This is author Denise Turney, author of the book, one of my books, Love Pour Over Me, which I hope you go out and get a copy of. I want to welcome you to Artisto, C-H-I-S-T-E-L-L.com YouTube show. And today's show is about the pathway to becoming a published author. I can remember when I started out, and you guys, I'm taking y'all back. I'm taking y'all back over 30 years. Uh, I can remember when I first started out, um, and I, I wondered, would I ever get published? Writing is not so hard for for me. For some people, they can deal with writer's block, and sometimes you have to get help with that to open up that creative pathway in you. But um, that has never been difficult for me, but I wondered if I would ever be published back then. You went through a traditional publisher, and then you could, self-publishing started to take off. Of course, with particularly the internet, but with just technology, having your desktops and your laptops, and that was in the 1990s. And I take advantage of that pathway, but I've also been published in magazines and newspapers, the more traditional formats as well. So, but how do you go about becoming a published author? And I'm not talking about freelance writing. There's, there's ways to do that. And in an upcoming show, maybe I'll focus on that. But I, what I want to talk about right now is how to, the pathway to becoming a published author. One of the first things, and I've heard this so much, that as a writer, you're like, don't say it anymore. I'm tired of hearing it. I don't want to hear that. But read great books. I would encourage you to read great books. If you want to be a great track runner, you study the great, the masters at that. If you want to be a great skier, if you want to be a great teacher, you study the maestros, you study the, the, the people who mastered it. Not to mimic them because, you know what, I hope you go way beyond what they did. I hope you go way beyond it. Sometimes we act like it's disrespectful to do something beyond what somebody we've admired for generations has done. But as God's children, I say just keep going further and further don't say this person is we honor this person so nobody can go beyond them oh you blow them out the water so that the, our, every generation just gets better and better and better that's a that's an awesome thing for all of us that's an awesome thing for all of us so the pathways to becoming a published author read great books read the read the maestros i hope you out outperform them i honestly do and i don't think that's disrespectful i think it helps the all of humanity over time so that's one thing and then the next thing that uh, i would encourage you to do now this is a book that i got whether you want to go through a traditional publisher or self-publish i highly encourage you to study the industry it can keep you from getting ripped off and that that would be in any industry that you would go into a lot of people might not think that the, it, there are people in the book publishing industry that will take advantage of you but er, there are and quite a few so what I would encourage you to do, uh, some of the manuals is, uh, there's one by Dan Poitner, the self-publishing manual. Even if you go through a traditional publisher, I encourage people to read that book. I don't know him. I don't get nothing from the sales of the book. It'll teach you a lot about the industry. So if you do self-publishing, you learn the industry nuts and bolts A to Z. If you go through a traditional publisher, you may learn more about dealing with a literary agent uh, who, who may take anywhere from 15 to 20% of your sales uh, if they land you with a big publisher you may learn about dealing with an editor um, a marketing manager these types of things that they work on your book covers and maybe set up some type of marketing for you but if you learn the industry from a to z nuts and bolts you can potentially avoid getting scammed and taking advantage of save money make the right choices pick the right printers pick the right editors pick do the right marketing, know whether you should do press releases, when, whether the distributing channels you should use, or if the, because press releases are nowhere near as effective as they used to be with social media and so many other ways that people uh, get information and get stories. So, read great books, research the market, uh, do, doing again, I, uh, the self-publishing manual, there are others, but that's one I use and it was incredibly valuable which is why I'm passing it along to you. Study study your target market audience. Really get to know your target audience. You, the, I wouldn't write the book specifically for them with them in mind, but when it comes to marketing, you really need to know who are the people who are most likely, and I do mean most likely to buy your book because everybody's not going to buy it. So so, so this is the thing. If I, if, if I was uh, the editor or the owner of a magazine for fishing and you hate to fish, you don't like the water, 
are you going to tell y'all the subscription to the magazine? It doesn't mean the magazine isn't any good. It just not, it doesn't interest you. So everybody is not going to be interested in your book. It doesn't mean the book isn't any good. It doesn't mean the book isn't any good. It just means the topic everyone may not be interested in. I don't care for vampire books. I'm sure there's some incredibly well-written vampire books. It's just not something that I have an interest in. If you do, then you'll probably be looking for those. You're, you are that author's target audience. I'm not. So you want to you wanna find your, your target audience. Just because you wrote a well-written book does not mean everybody is your target audience. They may not be interested in the subject. Uh, so that. Get your own work. Keep writing until you get your own writer's voice. Join writer's groups. Maybe you work with some beta readers. Maybe you work with a group who will read your book, critique it, and tell you things that you could change about the book. Be open to that feedback. If not, you could have a long learning curve. It could be long and frustrating. Uh, another thing, I, will, I recommend working with a professional editor. That doesn't mean that you just put your first draft together and pitch it to the editor because the editor might just punt it right back to you and say, do a little bit more work before you give it to me. I might edit a novel eight to ten times before I give it to my editor, and then the editor still will <laughs> come back with a lot of feedback and suggestions for improvement. So, read great books. Research it, the market. I gave you Dan Pointer's The Self-Publishing Manual. That's just one book. Um, and then work with better beta readers, critique and edit your book yourself. Find a professional editor, a legitimate editor. Get testimonials. Get, get with authors and ask them for recommendations on editors you're thinking about. Working with price out editors if you're going to self-publish. Research and price out printers. Uh, price out book, book designs. I'm not a fan of stock book, book publishing. You don't want to see a similar cover on 10 different books and your book. So uh, whether you whether you t work with a professional photographer who helps you get the book a book cover together, do a book good book cover, and then keep writing, writing and editing. Look for a literary agent if you want the literary agent to do that leg work for you. You can also do uh, several different approaches. You can work work with and try to secure a literary agent. You can be trying to secure an editor through a major publishing house on your own. You can enter in a uh, writing contest to try to get some recognition uh, there as well you can add that to your resume if you do win or come up as a as a, a finalist in some writing contest and attend writing writer conferences particularly writers conferences where editors are also there and they may be looking to close on some book deals at that e at that event i know some authors who that's how they got their career started by attending those types of writers conferences just read Read who the type of things that are going to be going on at the writer conference. Are you going to be able to have one-on-ones with editors? If so, bring some manuscripts in. Make sure you've done your work. You've had those beta readers. You've had those critiques. You may have even had some uh, some chapters edited, and then bring it in uh, to the editor. Be prepared for some no's and some rejections. If you under if you have a clear why for why you are want to get a book published, then you should just keep uh, launching forward. Put out your best work, because if you have a long career, you 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 your books books are, have a long long lifespan, they have a long shelf life, and you want to put out the best material that you can out of the respect for the readers and for the craft and for yourself as the author of the book. So again, research, working with better readers, beta readers, B E T A, uh, writers forums, critique groups, be open to the feedback, getting a professional editor. We, uh, if you want to, you can come from three approaches, trying to get a literary agent, an editor, and looking at self-publishing. Um, one author I know who went on to be a New York Times bestseller selling author just gave out free excerpts as she was actually writing the book. She would let people read free excerpts of it. And, and what she knew she was on to something when they came back to her and said, where's the next chapter? Where's the next excerpt? And that number grew from dozens to hundreds to thousands of people and she knew then that she was on to something so that's another way if you really set up a podcast you can also start to read read your books in a pot out through a podcast part of it i don't i wouldn't do the whole thing because when you copyright it and a lot of people are gonna copy a lot of your stuff you're gonna see your books for sale all over the place 
I've seen my book for sale for over a hundred dollars. Don't ask me because I don't have, I didn't, I didn't do it. I, you can get love for over me for three dollars in an ebook format. But uh, research so you don't get scammed as well. And then they used to have something called, and I forget where it was. It was this expert where you could ask questions and get answers, and I volunteered with that. There may be some other programs out there like that, and I can't think of what the, what a business used to do it, but they don't do it anymore. Uh, you might be able to get some questions answered from an author who's um, who's published. And then also, you can t tune into certain radio shows. I do a radio show off the shelf at Blog Talk Radio, and it starts Saturday, Saturday mornings at 11 a.m. And I don't give out advice myself, but I interview other authors. And some of the people are authors who are business owners. They offer certain different services, uh, of whether it's counseling, life coaching, um, maybe some design, marketing, publicity services, and they've also written a book. So I, I will interview them, and then I'll always ask them for marketing tips, things that have worked for them. You can tune into that and get some tips. That's my phone. You can get some tips on how to um, how to market your book as well through shows like Off the Shelf. Again, it comes on Saturdays at 11 a.m. Eastern Standard Time. It's free. And then I also have the Book Lovers Have a Newsletter where I feature authors. And I'll ask them questions, uh, maybe how you got started in the business. Do you have any advice for another writer who is looking to be published? Take advantage of these types of opportunities, whether it's through Off the Shelf, the Book Lovers Have, and which you can subscribe to through the C-H-I-S-T-E-L-L.com. It's free. Chistel.com. Um, website you can go directly through there you can subscribe right here to our chisel.com youtube channel where i'll just keep giving you free tips and free advice and then uh like i said i used to volunteer and gave away free information answering people's questions when they would submit them through this uh writers uh it was a writers like a, a it wasn't just for writers it was for other people who had experience in things and they wanted they were open to volunteering to give people uh, advice and answering. I answer questions on copyright, editors, how to find a publisher, how to market a book, uh, reading, is this, is this, do you think this book is publishable? I, I, all types of things that I did through that. But the, the program, as long as it was open for about maybe eight years, and then they shut it down. So those are just some of the things, again, research the market, uh, uh, there are books out there you can read to tell you the nuts and bolts. I, me, it was Dan Fortner's, uh, the self-publishing manual. Even if you don't self-publish, it's good to know as much as you can about the business. Work with a group of readers, whether it's through a writer's critique group or you get beta, B-E-T-A readers to critique and give you some feedback. Work with a professional editor. Also, self-edit your book before you put it over to the uh uh, professional editor uh, attend writers conferences where editors and publishers are going to be there and they may they may call some deals at those events because I know some authors who did have those opportunities maybe you put up a website and you just post some excerpts of your book or podcast and see if it as, as you're writing the story actually and see if people start asking you for more because there may be a, a demand, some interest there. And I know a writer who's a New York Times author, she's had her movies uh, on sh uh, Showtime. So that's how she got started. Um, and then just keep promoting and marketing your work and just keep writing. I know a lot, a lot of uh, best-selling authors who work full-time jobs. So if you want to share a story, you will find a way to, to, to do that. Study get get references and testimonials like i keep going on because i don't want to see you get ripped off on that angle look for legitimate uh uh literary agents no literary agent that will charge you a fee legitimate to read a manuscript so don't don't fall for that don't fall for that trick price out printers price out uh what what is the percentage that literary agents normally get then keep in mind what the distributor is going to get and that's generally 55 to 60 percent then the book the bookstore is going to get their piece and a lot of times with the distributor that 55 to 60 percent includes what the bookstore is going to get but do do your back-end homework so you don't get ripped off so somebody doesn't charge you a thousand dollars for a hundred copies of a book of a, of a hundred page book don't don't do that don't, don't do your research and start price comparing talk to other authors who've been out here and they can help you avoid getting scammed 
and you can have a very good, rewarding experience. This is a topic I love, a topic I could talk about forever. So, um, and then visit chistel.com. Uh, there are a lot of writer resources as well as, and take advantage of those. Take advantage of what's shared on Off the Shelf and the book lovers have and right here at chistel.com and other forums and other sites. Take advantage of it when writers who, I got 30 plus years in, and they're sharing free tips with you. Take advantage of that. So I want to encourage you to subscribe to chistel.com. And I'll see you back here next week. This is a show for readers, book readers and writers, book lovers as a whole. And writers are, are, are book readers. I still read books and love, love to read. So if you're a book lover, please subscribe right here to the Chistel.com YouTube channel. And I'll see you back here next week. This is Arthur Denise Turney, the author of the book, Love Pull Over.